of my favorite cinematic moments of all time is in Born Identity, when you're sitting on the bench and they're poking you, like, get up, get up, you're like, no, no. And the moment you're like, that yeah. face you look. Here's how that happened. We were reshooting and we just needed a pickup shot, a close up on the park bench. We'd already shot it, you know, nine months earlier. And it was just a few of us reshooting, so I was standing in for myself. So I was sitting on the park bench, and they were just kind of getting measurements, and Doug operated the camera. Mm -hmm. So when the guy put the thing up, I, I kind of held it, and I kind of looked up at him like that. And Doug, went, and Doug was watching, and Doug goes, stop! And he goes, no, no, do that again. And I, and I kind of put my head at the same angle and like put my eyes up, and he was like, okay, hold on, I'm going to turn over. And everyone was like, wait, are we rolling? And he was like, just everybody shut up. We're, you know? And he was like, okay, look down, look up. He was like, okay, the, the, okay, now take the baton out. Okay, now put, now put it in, grab it, look up. And it was literally like that simple. And it was one of those things when you're looking through the camera and you know. He's like, this is a badass angle. He, he literally choreographed that moment. Literally talked us both, talked the stunt guy who had the thing and me through that exact moment. In Jason Bourne, do you realize in the car chase all throughout Vegas, every time you shift the car, you go, you do that look. You do the. You drop and you do the look. I love it to death because I was like, I get to see it again and again and again because you shift a couple times. My kid has become an actress, awesome. and I cite you often because I'm like the boys one day, and this is like many moons ago, and now it's very common. But they were among the first to be like, well, why don't we write a script? Maybe we can write the roles that we want to play right. and stuff. That being said, when because was the last of you, by the way, don't stop. No, that. no, no. But that's true. It's not really true. It is. You guys watching your show should know that we were going to get into turnaround. We were going to lose our script, but you read it and brought it directly to Harvey Weinstein, and that's why Goodwill Hunting got made. But I had no money, and he that's had why the money. you're a producer on the movie. I do. Because I get my you, name on the flip. I don't know where we would be without you. I know where you'd be. You were already there, and I met you at the Mall Rat screening when Goodwill Hunting was in a little like jeopardy, and we're like, we can't get it made. I got it to Harvey, and then Harvey, of course, had great taste. That is going on over 21 years ago at this yeah, point. Yeah. <laughs> this is the big question. <clears throat> okay. Because I sat there and read that script on a toilet crying, reading that <laughs> script and bawling because it was so, it was a page turn. It's page turningly beautiful. Thanks. But will there ever be a moment where you sit down and go, like, I'm going to write and direct something for myself? Do you see that percolating? Or are you happy to? Yeah. To you work with every single director on the IMDb. Well, that's kind of the thing is I have so much in my head about filmmaking at this point that I... You that win I, an Oscar the moment you say, I'm directing this. No, it's just, for me, it's more about the logistics of my life. And if I can figure it out with my family, then I want to find something little, start with something really simple and small. Mm -hmm. um, Spielberg said that to me 20 years ago. He said, you're going to direct someday. And he said, and when you do, make sure it's a simple story and that you, can, and that you, and that you have a gift for telling a story this way. Um, don't try to bite off more than you can chew the first time you do it. So, so that's the plan. Mm -hmm.